G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of Tarmac Obsession. So this week, or today's the 25th of June 2020. Uh, this week has been super hectic for me. The dealership is, like I said in the last video, is going absolutely crazy. So we have people coming and going all the time. We're trying to get cars in and out and it's just left me pretty depleted with energy at the end of the day. So I haven't had a lot of chance to do any work on the Z at all this week. Uh, I know Monday I was going to do some work with um, finishing the Dynamat and things like that. But um, on looking at that on the weekend, and if you probably saw on my Instagram, I found out that I actually hadn't uh, installed the downproofing and the noise reduction stuff behind the dash, which had to go on first, then the pedals went on, then the steering rack went in, and then a steering column went in. So I know that I hadn't actually put that in, and I saw how I found it was where the column goes into the firewall, there's actually a little lip that sort of comes out and it sort of flares across and there's a little lip in there and I, I didn't understand why there was a lip and then when I found the pieces, I found it actually goes in around that and the, so the piece goes on and then the column goes over the top of it to hold it in place. I have found a material that's flame resistant or flame proof and sort of hard like that stuff. I'll show you just quickly over here when I finished uh, the intro, but I've got to cut the other bits out so I've got to just make some stencils and I'm going to cut those bits out and glue them up with some spray glue and glue some, I've got some automotive uh, matting from Clark Rubber that's going to act as the sort of backing for it, which I've, I made the pieces for the trans tunnel as well ages ago. So they're already done. So I'll show you those two bits, but that's, that's probably my next project on Saturday. So today's Thursday. So that will be my project on Saturday. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different to other videos that I've made so far, purely for the fact that I have no content to upload, but I do have, I do have some content to upload actually. I don't have content of me working to upload. So I have some content to upload of actually Shane, who did all the metal work on the car down at my mate Michael's shop, took, and I just found out that he took photos right the way through the work he did on the car. I mean, guess from his point of view, it's a portfolio thing, so he can show people that he's done the work he's done on the car. But from my point of view, it showed uh, the commitment to the car that I have from someone who's really, you know, not financially invested in getting the car right, just someone who's genuinely passionate about getting the car right. And um, that means more to me, obviously, than money, having someone who's genuine and has a genuine desire to get things done correctly. And it showed pretty much right the way through from when he got the car after we took it to the soda blasters up until we went into paint and um, the photos look amazing. So what I'm going to do just in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you the uh, firewall um, soundproofing stuff and then I'm going to show you just a few minutes of Shane's photos right the way through. So Shane mate, I do appreciate everything you've done. I know it took a long time at the panel shop and I know I was having a little bit of a moan about it but looking at the amount of work you put into getting the car right and the effort you put into doing all the little bits and pieces which I didn't notice um, and I have to say thanks you did a sensational job so show you that and I'll show you some photos hope you enjoy the video this time cheers guys thank you So these are the bits that go in behind the firewall. So they're just super hard and super brittle. And on the back, it's just all manky. So I found this stuff here, Bunnings, which is um, sort of a hard plastic, but quite flexible still, easy to cut with a knife, um, and quite sort of same sort of thickness, I guess, as, as the original pieces. So I'm, I made that one up the other day, and I can't find this piece again. So I've just got to make this piece and this piece then I can pull out the steering column. So this is, you can see here, this is where the steering column goes in through the firewall. So on this side here is where all the wiring comes through on the firewall. So you don't have to worry about taking the wiring out, thank God. But that bit there, I'm gonna to have to, yeah, pedal's gotta come out. The steering column's gotta come out to get that piece in. And then this is, I haven't fitted anything here yet and that I haven't fitted anything there yet. I trial fitted this one the other day, but I know I've gotta sort of cut more of an angle on that side, but I'll do the next video showing those sort of cuts um, and, and me making these these stencils up. I might make a couple of sets of them just so I've got a, a stencil in case anyone ever needed one in the future. But uh, yeah, that's that's the next video. So I'll do that on Saturday. I wish the camera would focus. This camera's shocking sometimes for focus. Um, yeah, so yeah, do that on Saturday. 
Anyway, stay tuned to the channel, guys, and uh, here's a heap of photos of what Shane took of doing the metalwork on the car, so I hope you enjoy it. It definitely didn't look like that when I went down there, let me tell you.